when are you going to try this linear regression approach? If the output is a number, a dosage, a dollar amount, something like that, a calorie count, and if the value of the feature is more meaningful than just a threshold. And to explain this, let me tell you a little story, another little story about developing this course. In the early days, I didn't have these slides, the try it if slides. And I remember presenting this in Zurich, and we have some lovely Googlers in Zurich who are really kind and want to make sure that my flight home is as entertaining as possible. So I got some emails from them that went as follows. Hey, Cassie, we see you like long movies. So have you heard of this six-hour movie? And have you heard of this five-hour long movie? A very kind, but it's a fundamental misunderstanding of what the decision tree model before was saying. That model doesn't say the longer the movie, the more I'm going to like it. That model says, if the movie is above 127 minutes, recommend it. Otherwise, don't. There's nothing about the value of the feature being more meaningful than the threshold. So if they'd really understood that message, I should have gotten some people recommending me movies that were 128 minutes also. Or, you know, uh, two and a half hours, not straight to the five hours. That kind of reasoning of every additional minute adds an additional bit of goodness, that is reasoning that is consistent with this sort of model. This kind of model is the one that says longer is better. For every additional gram of carbohydrates we add to the mix, we get more calories. It's not just like there's a threshold. If we are above 40 grams of carbohydrates, it's infinity calories already, and we should all panic. So this one it has the structure of adding a little more uh, gives you a higher prediction. Now, the simple linear regression thing does not transform any data for you. It just takes those columns, finds something to multiply them by, and off we go. But there are other flavors of regression, more interesting, complicated ones. Here are some popular ones you may run into. Kernel regression, you already have a sense of what that might involve, now that you know what kernels are. The one we'll look at is logistic regression. 